little bobble there, but not terrible. Ooh. Oh, that was a little scary. That was uh, very scary. <laughs> well, the fact that I was able to stay with him, I didn't get left. <laughs> that wasn't that. That was not a terrible chase. Hello and welcome back here to the channel. ESDA round two track was announced, so we're gonna go do a course drive and take our first rips on it on a bass tune before we get in with the team and get a full tune dialed in. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all that you found in the description box below. So round two of ESDA is set for this mega space. So it is a very long technical track. I wouldn't say technical, but it's a lot of outer zones. So this is just the basic tune that we had run originally from my and Maddie. I know Addy and Jack were on and they do have a pretty basic tune. That is a very tight chicane. So the, like I said, Addy and them have a bass tune dialed in for this car already. Big thank you to them. So we're going to do a quick drive. Obviously, you come out of the chicane. We can't cross this line as a lead driver. And then our initiation point is here before those lines. That's when judging starts. We do have a outer zone, which we need to be on full throttle pretty much through this whole section and turn into a inner clip where, of course, we want to get as close as we can to that inner clip. As for outer zone two, we have... The ability to bring out, I believe, one tire out here, but no more onto the rumbles, which transitions into a very close wall section, which, if you're not careful, you're going to be wall tapping the heck out of that, as well as a big, little bit of a slowdown into this outer zone here. When I said this track is all outer zones, I was not kidding by the fact that this is all outer zones. As it gets a very long outer zone there, and then it turns into another outer zone as well into another outer zone, repetitive of outer zones, into an inner clip, which is midway on the track. So it's going to be something that I have to remember that it is midway through the track and not all the way on the in skirts. As well as we have another outer zone here. Another outer zone, you wouldn't have guessed, and then a final outer zone up here into an inner zone i say final and there's one more outer zone out here and cross the finish line so it's definitely a very long track so we're gonna go and we're just gonna go full send on this track for first you know rips on it we are uh, like i said on that daytona bass tune so we're gonna see how this bass tune goes it's not really the best tune probably for this track but we're gonna try it at 100 percent boost and uh see what we can do so first impression runs on this track for round two of ESDA, that's a very tight chicane. Oh my, yeah, that's a tight chicane. The car has no grip going up here. Wow, I actually have no grip in the front. That's something I'm gonna have to work with Addy and them to find out why my car didn't have any grip going off that start. Oh yeah, this track's gonna be interesting. It's really downhill too, so you're gaining speed going down the downhill as well as trying to maintain angle. And I can see a lot of places where you could potentially straighten up and, yep, bringing the car in. There's not a lot of front grip on this car right now, so definitely going to have to dial in the tune for sure. Because right now with this tune, it's not quite happy. So we're going to try another run or two here on this first impressions video of the track. Oop, we're adjusting our camera view, so give me two seconds here. Let's get rid of that weird exposure change. Okay. And then now we'll go full set again. So, like I said, we are gaining speed as we're going through the track, but the initial part, the car does not seem like it has any grip. And I'm very concerned on why that does not feel has any grip coming off the start. Because it's like, it's almost understeering. And it could just be because we're going uphill. So definitely going to have to pay attention to that. We might be able to work that out with the tune. 
Oh yeah, there's definitely a, uh, a bit of a loss of grip going up in that first section, so... I can see a lot of places where you could potentially straighten up, and that wall is going to be killer for a lot of people, I feel. And I gotta make sure I check in the Discord because they were saying where left foot braking is acceptable and things like that. Because they want you to be pretty much on power through a lot of this track. That last hook in is quite challenging. And this track is a very challenging track. So I don't think um, running 100% boost is the right option. But then again, like I said, base tune, not a lot of grip in the front for some reason. So we're going to have to be doing some major adjustments. And we're going to be getting in with Addy and the Itanium guys to double check for a tune. And uh, see if we can't get this R35 dialed in for round two. The car has been teched in and it is okay for round two. I don't think 80% is enough, but we're going to find out. Don't do that. Let's see if we can finish the track off. Yeah, there's not a lot of grip. This car is going to need to be gripped up for sure here to be able to run this track how I want it to. So luckily I got a good team that's behind me supporting me and helping me build a good tune so that we can get this car gripped up and ready for round two next weekend. Oh, and there's the wall hit. So we're going to do some adjustments on the car run some tandems. So we're gonna hop in with Addy and them and see if we can't get a good tune dialed in and see what we can do. Do you want me to lead or chase? Uh, either way. What do you want? Hey, pick a slot. Alright, I'll go chase. Alright. What's up here? <laughs> Remember, I stopped. I'll be back in like a half hour. latter part of that course was good. There you go. That was, we're making it through. So that's a good thing. I mean, the latter part of that course I felt pretty good on. <laughs> yeah, that was, <laughs> the initiation oh, that was really and the problem. second outer zone a little bit shaky. The initiation is weird. Well, I do like this grip tune that he has set up. And, you know, big thank you to him for, this is a quite grippy tune. I, I But the thing is, this track needs that grip, I feel. Oh, yeah. Uh, you need a balance between the two. I don't think Matt's gonna lead. I mean, he might. There you go. Oh, I totally screwed up that initiation. Way short. I can't see shit behind with all this smoke. <laughs> This is so bad. Matt is just like throwing up a smoke screen. He died. <laughs> Matt was asking for it. <laughs> In between two I tandem guys. <laughs> oh, do you have my new sound on it? Yes, I do. Hell yeah. V8. 
fight for a B10. Oh yes, I think so. It's no longer a 2J, so yeah, or an RB. Yeah, I got you. Ooh, this is pretty good. That was pretty good. Start. Oh, a little bobble. A little bobble. A little shallow. Still, I'm just gonna hold it. Like you can tell me if you make a mistake on it. I'm kind of right there though, so that's good news. I kind of lost you there though. Oh, uh, no. I don't know who that's fault that was. <laughs> That was fine, I over... I'll have to say this sometimes. I'll take a lead. Yep. See if I can get my initiation in. I also gotta practice not hitting these cones. Oh, I don't know if you have a rhythm button. Uh, Bad <laughs> time for your nose to edge. Did you just go through me? Bobble there, but not terrible. Ooh. Oh, that was a little scary. That was uh, very scary. <laughs> well, the fact that I was able to stay with him, I didn't get left. <laughs> that wasn't that. That was not a terrible chase. One or two little flubs I found in corrections, but otherwise that wasn't a terrible chase. And you were right there like, too, so. Oh yeah. Looks like your wheel spins fine. Uh, oh, it did much. I mean, it feels good. So I mean, I, I think I just need to I I just need to get used to the transitions because it's a little bit different because, well, it's also downhill, so <laughs> <laughs> you have to manage that downhill aspect of this track. I got both. We're good. We're staying in it. Oh, ah! I don't know how I saved that, but I got the butt. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that was weird feeling. What did it do? It kind of went... I kind of lost all grip in the front end of the car. Oh. Just for no reason? Just randomly just lost, like, all grip, and I had to... It, it lost all grip, and I went zero... I was, like, zero steer, kind of just sliding. <laughs> 